What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we tried proving a little bit of a theory, and that is, does the missing no cheat work in Unova Red? Well, we were proven wrong. It doesn't. It really doesn't, guys, and well, it may have been a little disappointing, but I guess I relish in the challenge right here because fuck it. Let's do it. So, anywho. Now that we got the surf technique and we can go anywhere, uh, let's go ahead and go to the power plant because my curiosity is high with what can we find at the uh, power plant. Now, this guy right here would like to trade in a Maloma Loma, a Loma Momola for a Keldeo. So that right there is going to be for something later on. There is a Genesect trainer and, huh, you can go into the, huh, you don't say. So my curiosity has just hit me again. Okay, so let's see. The Cerulean Cave looks like I'm gonna looks like I'm gonna have to pay that place a visit. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I kind of want to see what what kind of Pokemon you can actually find in there. Holy crud, man! My the world is my my oyster. Holy crud! Okay, so let's go ahead and use Cut. And let's go ahead and use our bicycle to get to the to the next place. Now, so there's no trainer waiting for us right there, blocking the way to Cerulean Cave. So I might take a visit right there. But right now, I kind of want to go here to see what what is up, like what we can actually find. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and surf our Pokemon. And wow. Holy crud, I think we are like damn close to uh, finishing this whole thing. Uh, let's see, there is a trainer right here, I think. I don't know. But what Pokemon could you find in this area? I want to know. And yes, I will be battling this guy, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, let's give Bonesaw a little bit of a crack against this guy. Now, yeah, I did want to use the, uh, the Missing No Cheat just to maximize everything. Mainly because I kind of wanted to complete teams. I wanted to make my Pokemon Black team again here, but it looks like it might not happen unless I get surprised otherwise. I don't know. It, this play, this game has been surprising as it is. And, well, right now this guy is having a Pokemon that I cannot go up against right here. So, let's go with Oinkinator right here. And here comes that Bind attack. And, well, we're going to have to speed button this thing. Let's go. Ben, yeah, buying attack is really annoying. So let's go see what Pawniard has. Nope, Pawniard is not going to survive right here. So let's go straight for a low kick attack. And well, there we go. Pawniard defeated. And well, look at that. Yeah, he's not angry. Yeah, whatever you say, Emo Screamo. All right, so here we are in the power plant. The Pokemon we will be able to find right here, electric type. Now, I'm curious to see what we'll find as a replacement for, you know, Electrode, um, Electrode and a Voltorb. So, let's see what we got. Oong. Oh, crud. It's, a it's the Mushroom Pokemon. God dang it. Yeah, it's the Mushroom Pokemon. So, we're just going to speed button our way. And it's at level 40. Okay, so... <laughs> maybe, just maybe... Maybe just maybe we have to capture stronger Pokemon in order to win this whole thing. Huh. And well, here we have a Zib Strika or a Blitzel, and I'm gonna just go away from that. Here we find ourselves a level or a TM33, and here is a another Oom. And this guy's at level 40, so yeah, I need to capture this guy. So let's go straight for a Dragon Rage missed. Let's go right ahead, Dragon Rage. Now let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball, I think. Yes, we have 19 Great Balls right here. Here we go. And there we go. We've caught ourselves a level 40 Fungus. And it turns out that we have already have a Fungus, uh, another Fungus captured. Okay, so let's move on. We still have a lot of items to collect right here. A lot of Pokemon to agitate and stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Fungus, not really the Pokemon I want to actually just capture or anything or mess around with. So there we go, run. Hmm. 
Yeah, we, we... Oh, wow, Joltik right here, level 24. A little bit stronger than the one that I have. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Now, the sea farm... Oh, wow, okay, so, again, we are victims to our whole thing right here. We probably should have put that... Oh, uh, crud. Let's see, TMO6, Toxic. Nah. TM, double... Okay, you know what, let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's give somebody this. Uh, let's go ahead and give... Mudslide. Let's see what Mudslide can learn. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give that to that, okay? So let's see what kind of item... Oh, wow. What kind of item that we get here? Oh, low! TM25 Thunder. And TM33 Reflect. Okay, so Reflect is another good move. Don't know why Gigalith can't learn the move, because it... Yeah, it... It learned it naturally or something like that. And yes, yeah, so we're going to be attacked by another Pokemon right here. Hmm. Okay, so... Again, we're going to be attacked by a lot of Pokemon. And it's more because I want to see what Pokemon we can actually get here. More than likely, we're going to get a Clink or Clang. Clink, Clang. Clink or Clang. And here we have a Blitzel. We'll probably get an, evolution, an evolutionary Pokemon. And this is Joltik right here, so yeah. Tynamo is another Pokemon that we can actually find here, probably. And, well, let's see. Boom. Okay, so, don't tell me, don't tell me that the, the Zapdos here is going to be a, whatchamacallit, that big old mushroom Pokemon. Don't tell me that. Okay, so another Oong. Huh. It's not doing anything. Holy crud. Okay, so, okay. What the heck? Nothing. Okay, so nothing's going on right there. Yeah, it... At this point, guys, I'm, like, uh, I'm just doing this just to show you guys what you can actually find right here in Pokemon Unova Red. Uh, it would seem that we covered everything. Like, our basis right here, and all we need to do now is just beat the game. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna speed through this right here. Okay. And, well, we're not going to find any evolutionary Pokemon. Oh, wow. Seriously? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. What can we use? TM40, what is that? Oh, Skull Bash. Okay, so we can teach somebody Skull Bash. It doesn't hurt. Uh, Bone Saw, Mud Slide. You know what? Let's give Bone Saw, uh, let's give Bone Saw Skull Bash. It wouldn't hurt to try. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's see what, what the heck did we get. The heck did we just get an HP up, which, well, let's give that to that. Okay, so, yeah, we are kind of rushing through this whole thing right here. So let's uh, let's see what, we, what else we can actually find around this area. And uh, we found ourselves a rare candy, a third one. I'm pretty, like, I'm surprised that we haven't even used them. I kind of wish that, you know, the Missing No Chi actually worked, but... Yep, it is. Oh, look at that, a Zeb Striker. It looks like you can actually find a Zip Striker right here, and wow, we're kind of screwed right here. And well, you know, we're gonna get away right here. Um, so you can find Zip Strikers. And well, let's see, what is it? Oong right here, Oong. And oh, look at that—the evolutionary form Amoongus, which we kind of don't need. And well, let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon right here. Let's see. Let's see, let's go ahead and do that. And, well, let's see, do we have any kind of healing items aside from the full restore? Yeah, we do. Two more hyper potions right here. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we, what else we can actually find. Let's see. And, well, let's see. There he is. There's the Pokemon that we've been looking for. I am going to save this because uh, don't know, don't necessarily know what it is. So let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and let's go with Gigalith right here. I I'm pretty sure it's one of the the Warrior Pokemon right here. So here it is, a Gaiu. Okay, so let's see what we got. Alrighty, so here we are again with another legendary Pokemon, and it happens to be Zekrom. Now, the if you guys want honesty, I didn't even think of Reshram or Zekrom. 
I really didn't guys I thought that we were done with the legendary Pokemon and here they are they are appearing right before us and all that stuff and trust me guys it is really hard to capture this guy but because of this discover right here it now makes sense on what Pokemon can appear in both the Victory Road or in uh, the Seafoam Islands it's just a wow it's going to be yeah it is going to be a tough one because god dang this Pokemon is no friggin joke right here so let's go right ahead and use a seismic toss on this guy thankfully we use too much shots on him to slow him down and that right there will actually leave him with a put him on the red and well this is actually the sixth attempt uh, <laughs> that I've had on this guy so I'm going to let this guy actually get me uh, fainted and all that stuff so I'm gonna throw a great ball at it we're gonna miss obviously we need to put this Pokemon to sleep in order for us to actually you know to actually capture him and well as you can see he is destroying my Pokemon team literally destroying so hopefully ho hopefully Gigalith actually gets him something so here we go we put him to sleep and all right, let's just hope this works right here. And ah, oh, damn it. Okay. All right. So the advantage right now is that we're a little faster than this guy. And yes, we caught him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So that was. I'm sorry if that went a little too quick, guys. But trust me, it was. This is like the sixth time I tried to capture this guy. So here it is, guys. Zagrum, the pitch black Pokemon. Concealed in lightning clouds, in, it flies through a, the skies. It creates lightning on its tail. So here it is, guys. We have caught ourselves Zagrum, the legendary Pokemon. And, well, it looks like to me that... It looks like to me that I, I already know what the mission's going to be. For the next few episodes, and that is capture the legendary uh, Pokemon. Uh, what was his name? Um, fuck, uh, the Ice type Pokemon. Completely forgot his name. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I caught. I can't believe I caught Zachary. Holy crap! All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to Cer Cerulean City and take a look at this Pokemon right here because this is incredible. All right. So first is first. Let's heal up our Pokemon. And well, there it is. Bam, 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 and there it is. Now, this is a hack game, guys. I really, really don't care. Uh, I'm going to use Ekram. Yeah, if there was ever a legendary Pokemon game that, or a legendary Pokemon that we could use in a game, it's this right here. So, let's go ahead and get rid of Waddles, and let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Zekrom. Now, as you can see, I did capture a few legend or a few electric type Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Zachram right here. So here it is, he's asleep. Zachram, the electric and dragon type Pokemon. Look at his attack, look at his defense. Holy crud. And it has a very good step or you know very good move. So holy crap, I think we are uh, shoot. Yeah, I think we're getting ready for what's gonna what's to come. Um, I just noticed something. The Cerulean Cave is not blocked. I am not taking a risk in going there just yet because, well, yeah, our Pokemon are way under-leveled. And I'm only assuming that the last Pokemon right there could be, um, well, could be a legendary Pokemon that we were completely forgetting about. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Sorry that, you know, the, the emotions went or the emotions is not there. It's just, trust me six times god damn it six times trying to capture that pokemon so let's see how we fare against the next legendary pokemon in the next episode so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time